Hi. All right. So, uh, hope you guys are doing good. Uh, it's all chaos out there, but uh, we are shifting to learning. So, uh, so we have to do something, isn't it? So we will start uh, learning something new. So hope you guys have uh, worked with what we have done for the last like four to five weeks. So we leave with a lot of content to any way to digest. Uh, so we are going to work on the assembly a bit uh, longer, but uh, I thought we can start with something fresh. Uh, then we jump again into this assembly and other things. So uh, before all of that, uh, I have updated the course because uh, according to the slip policy that uh, the online stuff should uh, go in the course mm. So this lecture also will end up in uh, YouTube uh, because a lot of people are using YouTube plus uh, I'll be putting it in uh, the other places like Microsoft Stream you probably have heard about it uh, this is Microsoft Stream Stream I believe most of you are already aware about it so once you go here uh, yeah so you guys actually have to log into uh, SLI IT using SLI credentials uh, so once you go there like you'll be able to uh, access whatever documents services available right so i'm not going to go detail on it so you'll be able to get the link from there you'll be able to access all the details and also uh, this edu scoop so there are so many options uh, yeah and also uh, i'm going to host it my youtube channel so please subscribe to my channel so it'll be fun to do something on youtube as well all right so i have updated the uh, post web and uh, I believe you all can uh, or you all have already enrolled in this uh, so SMP 2020 is the enrollment key and uh, so there's this section student forum section where you can ask your questions uh, yeah so there's nothing here at the moment so you can basically add a question uh, of a subject uh, I don't I don't understand applied assembly. Yep. So same thing. Chip chip. Alright, and you can add files so you can post to forum. And uh, so others can probably uh, go there and uh, have a look at it and you can reply. So what? Oops, sorry. So I believe we have used this. So please use it if you want to. Otherwise, uh, this is a bit of old style. I don't like old style. Um, but you have it if you want to use it. Uh, but we have the Slack channel. So basically I have uh, added all my students to the Slack channel. Uh, Audi, uh, it's available here if you want to access it. Uh, you have it here so you can go and register the link is here so you click this link to so be able to go to the slack channel and uh, once you go to the slack channel i ask everyone to because there can be uh, several uh, channels in this so as an example here you can see the channels right so here right so we have a general channel so anybody can ask any question so there's nothing there yet and there are a few other channels so what will happen so you will be or you will be here the systems network programming channel i believe most of you are there so what i can do uh, i can uh, basically now lock this channel or make it private so only the second year students can access this channel so everything that related to the this particular course will end up uh, in, end up here right so what are the messages the new stuff and everything right um, yeah 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 so I'm going to make it a private channel this change can be undone change to private so yep so yeah this channel is a private channel so 
uh, yeah so this only can be registered through invitation so yeah so there's nothing to hide but still we will make it private it's much easier all right so that's basically some logistics uh, yeah so that's the slack channel and apart from that i have another discord uh, yeah so that's also can be used if you guys are here in the discord of course uh, you can use it right so last few weeks or probably last two weeks i've not been updating anything here uh, but yeah it will happen right with the lectures now getting started online mode uh, yeah so anyway like we are, we are we are correctly on the right mode you know so we've been doing it all over the, uh, the, the time you know so this can be very useful for you guys to learn things and also i will do probably next week i'll do a google hangout like like online session so you guys can come in and ask questions uh, or, or a stream like a youtube stream or a pitch stream uh, i'm planning for it let's see like so the internet also is a big problem so we'll see all right uh, so uh, we start with uh, today's session i don't think it will go uh, like this will be very long i do want to make it uh, a bit short right so uh so but anyway so we'll start so today i want to uh talk a bit about uh, linux right so because we started with linux and then we jumped into uh, programming and all this stuff so but this course when progressing we need to learn more linux and we do a lot of things in linux so we just get to know the basics so most of you probably have uh, learn this uh, by doing the practical so we ask you to work with webinar so I believe that's all fine with you guys but still uh, there can be some people who are quite uh, new to this thing and uh, have some issues so i'll be covering some basics today all right uh, so i and also i gave you the challenge you know to log into linux uh, sorry so set up linux boxes so i believe that's happening so keep doing it right and I had a few, uh, yeah, like the slides, so just for fun, I had some pictures, right? And also some uh, preclude on what we have done. So other things also will be added later, right? So, yeah, so and, uh, I'll be sharing some videos here as well, right? So my videos plus videos from YouTube. All right, so um, let's uh, start with some slides. Uh, let me open some slides. Right. Um, okay so uh, we'll start a bit from the introduction okay, so we actually learned a bit about uh, linux and unix history if you can remember and right, so we said that uh, earlier version was unix and then uh, uh, unix had its own problems right and because of that uh, people moved into linux right so that part we have learned Right. So one of the major issues of Unix was that it was too proprietary. Sorry, not sorry, sorry, not proprietary, but it was too rigid with uh, the GNU license. So Peter, people wanted more freedom in changing things. So, uh, so because of that, they shift into Linux, right? So now, like everywhere you go, you find Linux. So that that part we have covered. So it's just basically a uh, quick uh, review. Right. So um, moving on. Um, so we have learned about the Unix Linux history, right? So that, uh, so some details are there. So first version is given Dell Labs, right? And then uh, AT&T licenses, so it's code for low cost. So trademark is Unix name, Unix close. So and many Unix flavors even. So there, is, there were so many Unix flavors. Uh, IBM started uh, another flavor, right? So that's what we talked about. Then which is Stoneman working in IBM Unix team, then he went out. Right, so in Unix, uh, this understanding Unix principle can be very useful because uh, uh, even in Linux, what you find is the same principles. So everything in Unix uh, works like a file, right? So even including hardware, right? So even a driver uh, is defined as a file, right? So in a way, it's much easier to work with a Linux-like operating system because you can just open the file and see what's inside, right? So so that, that's the cool thing about uh, Linux or Unix, right? And uh, all the configuration data, right, uh, is stored in text, right? So it's, uh, it's not a very complicated mechanism in that sense, right? 
yeah, people are joining into Slack. Yeah. Uh, and then um, it's small and single purpose programs, right? So it started like that. Right? So, and then avoid captive use interfaces, right? So you are more focused on the terminal. Ability to chain programs together to perform complex tasks. It's very simple, but uh, see if you get uh, uh, something like this, you can see uh, it can do uh, piping, uh, we can say cat something, or we can say ls minus al and uh, pipe and something. So, so you can concatenate a lot of complex tasks into a, mm, one activity or a one workflow. So this is something very common in Unix and Linux. So actually what I'm using is my MacBook. Uh, it also uses uh, a Unix flavor, but it has this Linux uh, like shell, you know, so the basic shell is all available. So you can do the same command. So it's like the same core concept is used uh, among these operating systems right and uh, moving on uh, so this particular project started by Stallman which is Stallman uh, in 1984 right so it's basically to do free so we talked about it so I can just jump through so it's free like free as for freedom not free as for beer right so it's basically for the freedom right freedom to change things right so Mm. And in 1990, nearly all required user space uh, applications created. So uh, it didn't happen overnight, so it took some time. So, and uh, all these people involved in the earlier Unix or Jamie Unix uh, project, right, uh, they have developed all uh, these uh, very nice tool sets. So, especially this Emacs is popular that, uh, because it's written by Richard Stallman. So, it's one of the more powerful or uh, and it be complex editors like Vim and all that. So I'm not expert in Emacs, but if you want, you can find a lot of uh, uh, content, even YouTube, uh, to learn Emacs, right? Um, and then uh, they came up with this uh, GPL uh, or uh, GNU General Public License, which is quite interesting. Right? So if you want to learn more on this, uh, you can go and you can find many resources, and especially. Uh, if you go even to GitHub, right? So if you go to GitHub, uh, and uh, if you look into one of those uh, um, projects, right? So if I go to project uh, anything that I've shared, uh, yeah. So if you go here, you can see the license here. If you can see, right? The license. Uh, this one is uh, this is a package called Chakraku, and it's a mighty license. So similarly, there are so many licenses when it comes software, and GNU license is some very popular license. All right. So uh, similarly, if you go and get any open source product, you'll find a license. Right. Um, so primary license for open source software. So mainly. Uh, GNU is or GNU GPL is the more common uh, license. Right, so and it encourages free software and all enhancements and changes to GPL software must also be GPL. Right, so this can be the problem, right? So, not a problem, right? So, but uh, this is like the, uh, the requirement. So, we can do changes, right? So, they are free to do changes, but also that should be GPL. Right. Uh, so this is called copyleft, not copyright. Right. So, so all right, not reserved but reversed. Right. So, that's a quite a fun in it. Okay. Mm, and then uh, mm, you find uh, Linux coming in. So in 1990. Uh, so the requirement was that there were some issues with some people on uh, this this particular uh, GPL licensing and also this GNU thing, not GNU sorry the the, 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 the Unix version. Then Linux kernel combined with GNU applications complete the Unix like always possible. So that's basically what happened. Linus reloaded the kernel, and I think I showed you GitHub also. You can 
find the uh, the, the oracle that the, the Venus kernel there in GitHub. So, so it's a fresh implementation of Unix uh, and it's open source and supports widely data of hardware. So there were some issues, uh, like I said, several times uh, uh, there were some issues uh, with uh, open uh, like using hardware with uh, Unix uh, that some of those issues were resolved with Linux and suppose many networking protocols and configurations and you know, the, the improvements were a lot right so because of that uh, Linux was uh, regarded to be a, a better replacement for Unix for a lot of people but again uh, it's so hard and it's very wrong to say which one is better than the other right so uh, it is, it's completely depend on the context right and mm, the, 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 uh, the way how the people are looking at it all right so in uh, Linux there are so many distributions so Red Hat distribution so I told you like this course uh, are geared towards uh, getting the certification also for Red Hat Linux I already had uh, yeah Red Hat, um, Linux certification uh, system registration certification right so, uh, so you understand so this Red Hat uh, distribution is one of the core uh, famous distributions and a very old distribution very stable distribution and then you of course look at distro watch uh, earlier uh, and there was uh, there are so many other uh, distributions right distro watch uh, yeah okay so you can find uh, so many other distributions which are available uh, which you guys can uh, find the list here right mm, yeah so from here you can get them right uh, yeah so, so those are the distribution so linux uh, the red hat one is very popular and it has uh, its server version and the, the planned version and uh, now red hat is uh, for commercial product and uh, uh, open source folks are available uh, called Fedora for the uh, client version and CentOS for the server version mm, yeah and uh, yeah so this is uh, basically a uh, requirement uh, I do believe it's have been changed over the years so this slide is a pretty, pretty over slide mm, but still uh, yeah so if you go to the Red Hat site uh, you can always get this specification which they support mm. So it's, it's not a big deal so you guys can always check the requirements right but i've seen like uh, uh, installing linux into your laptop can be a challenge at, at a point right so there are so many issues that come across because uh, most of you are willing to go as 12 boot so then again you will get issues sometimes you are getting covered to linux windows uh, again other issues set of issues and virtual box virtualization another set of issues so, so it's, it's learning right so take it as a learning all right so and then mm, uh, logins uh, so there are text mode logins uh, which are called as virtual consoles and then the graphical logins right so do remember in the enterprise most of the time right they use these virtual consoles uh, not the graphical login because of the automation that they're supposed to do so it's much easier in that way to uh, work with uh, virtual logins right so now with this devops coming you know these other tools a lot of things are happening under the hood so graphics yeah it's good so there are some purposes why you have to use graphics then um, that's probably it's not very common they are every day using the, uh, the industry right all right so this uh, virtual consoles uh, multiple non gui logins are possible through the use of virtual consoles right so you can have many to uh, one uh, os right. there are by default six available virtual consoles and you can basically uh, jump through each of them uh, using these key combinations Mm, yeah so this is also important um yeah so then running the command so uh yeah so this is this is something that you know right so the basic stuff you all know so in the last command you have the command and the options and then the arguments right so that's basically how it goes mm, and uh, you know, each item is separated by a space so in between the command and the options and the arguments you have to have spaces and options modify the commands behavior so options are always changes how the command is running so as an example um, so you can say ls minus a or ls minus a or ls uh, 
any less minus any so so many options are available right uh, so that's those are the options right and so if you want to get more about this uh, you can get the land page so you get uh, all the details of it uh, okay. so these are options so these are things that i typed in right now so that's a long list of things so and like if you're the power user so the land usage of man is quite important right? so there are so many things that you can learn from it so it's a never-ending process so, so don't think uh, <laughs> you can learn all this from a day or two no, and stop times right uh, yeah so that's basically about it and arguments are file names or other information you very common so then if you want to input anything right so that's how it uh, yeah so you have to input whatever the arguments uh, and uh, separate commands with semicolon. You can type in multiple commands at once, that's also is possible, but you have to have a semicolon, right? You have to have a semicolon. So, command examples. So, so there are very nice commands. You can say date, today's date, and then if you don't know much about the date, uh, just type in date. So, then you can find all these uh, very interesting uh, options are available so similarly cal uh, sorry calendar can is what calendar right so if this is march so we are 10th uh, yeah, to 5th of my summer here yeah so we are if you want to go huh? so we are in quarantine isn't it no, not quarantine really but in curfew but yeah let's see okay um and Okay, then uh, the basic stuff, password. So, so I'm, I'll just keep on that. All right. Uh, and then uh, Linux is having several graphical environments. So, this is like the standard one. And then we have Genome, KD, and so many other things. Right. So, uh, okay, that's basically a quite a, a, a quick overview on Linux. Uh, is like your first half of the lecture, right? First half of the lecture. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah, of course. Now you can do a bit of uh, interesting commands. So, we do some commands and I'll stop, then upload this and go for the second one. So, you get you know, this chunk, you know, you know what I'm saying? By chunk size videos. Uh, It'll be much easier that way, you know, so that it will be covering the lecture rather than listening to this two hour, three hour lectures. I, I will go with that process, okay? Mm, uh, so, we'll do a bit of a uh, uh, bit of interesting commands, right? So, we had look at ms, so uh, basically, that's the easiest one, and then we can do ls minus a, right? Uh, Mm, so that's basically uh, files even with hidden files so you can see here so uh, get all these files here mm, dash is create bob suit so all these other things are there and then all these hidden files okay so that's an interesting command right and then uh, PWD with you where am I? So present working directory. So currently I'm here in the present working directory and I can create a directory. So let me do a quick ls. Yeah, I have this desktop documents, blah blah blah. So I, I will go into my desktop uh, and I can check do ls and I have some files and then I can do a directory test, okay. So then I can say CD test and do a PWD. So I'm here now, all right. So those are the basic stuff. Uh, and then if I do a less minus a here, I have a dot and a dot dot. So you know, get you know, what are those files? You know? uh, there is a dot file, what are these two dots? What does it refer to? All right, okay, and then. Um, if I get something like this, if I uh, create a file in touch file, right? 
uh, and uh, I can say ls file uh, to do down the file and then uh, if I create a directory uh, uh, yeah I can create a directory test to right? and then you can check what is this directory or uh, the information about the directory mm, okay so then uh, let me do this but we have learned this before as well so you can do the tilde so tilde always so see i am here i'm here now so i'm here in this particular location which is the test right but if i do ls uh, tilde so it goes to the home directory so actually the home directory uh, is uh, what uh, this is my home directory users like my roots so that's my home directory so if i want to any time to go back and see what's there so i can do ls tilde and from there onwards i can go up or down so as an example if i want to go to documents and see what's there even staying here in my test folder uh, so how can i do that so if i do ls this uh, i know that this is my uh, ls this uh, i know that uh, um, uh, these are things that in my uh, these are things in my uh, home directory so from there once i can jump up i believe so uh, yeah, yeah yeah i can do that right so so i can see what are the downloads right? all right so that's good that's really good right so so remember this tilde which uh, basically uh, gives the opportunity to uh, jump back and forth uh, from where you are so it can be uh, easy navigation too all right uh, then uh, so we'll go to some more stuff uh, then we'll do i think moves and all that you know premiums moves right so those things are not very hard um, and uh, if you want to see what's inside a file so i can create a file uh, let me check where am I? yeah in the folder so i'm creating a file dot uh, z so, right, um, so if I want to see what's inside, so I can say cat uh, file. Uh, yeah, so that that is something very easy to do. And also, uh, if there's a less command, uh, uh, yeah, we'll see what's happening. There's, I, I, I don't think there's nothing much happening here because uh, uh, it's going from uh bottom to top right so that's basically what happens right um there's nothing much but if it's a large file so uh it will it will be useful uh and also you can uh, if you have a file which you leave the first 10 lines then you can uh look uh using the head command so let me open the file again i do a vim and I have a file with several lines, so I'm going to look at the head. That's yeah, the first five, ten lines. If I do head minus five, um, the first five lines. Oh, sorry. Um, if I do the two, first two lines. So really fast. It's really really fast, right? So it's really fast. Uh, same you can do switching tail. So head and tail. Quite fascinating. Uh, different type of command. Uh, quick jump. Uh, just for fun. The stop command. So top uh, will give you all uh, these interesting results. It's about the processors and things like that. Right? So it's a nice, pretty nice command to remember. All right. Okay. And then you have a very cool uh, command called grep. Like grep. Mm, okay. Uh, grep, uh, it's difficult to understand why they have named it as grep, right? Or grep, right? Uh, let me see uh, what it does. So, if you do a man grep, uh, it's a file pattern searcher, right? So, grep literally searches and given input files selecting lines that matches one or more patterns. So, that's what, the, what it does. Right? So, we'll try to get the file, uh, Z. Um, yeah, so 
this other pattern that we have so that's uh, ASF so let's check whether ASF is available in uh, yeah there are several ASFs so as you can see uh, it's listing these ASFs and also this ASF right so it's look for these patterns quite powerful too right uh, yeah uh, and then you can uh, play with this so class is always about playing with the uh, things right uh, so you do bandit or you do the same right so you use these tools quite fascinating tools uh what if if i do this uh, minus i what do you think minus i would do same stuff right so let me check let me do something different this time Oops, oops, oops. Okay, I'm going to open this up again. Okay, and I, and then I'm going somewhere here and typing ASF. All right. right. So we might have another ASF, right? Uh, yeah, it's also captured. It's also captured, right? So even capital ASF is captured in this way. Uh, but if you do this, uh, okay. Let me see the difference. No capital ASF. If you do this, you do see. So it's basically case insensitive, right? So that's uh, what you do there. Mm, and then you can do cool stuff like uh, you do this. You do a single report. Uh, okay. Then uh, basically it captures all the patterns which has ASF in it. Um, yeah, so then you can move on doing this right? so yeah so you have to practice this all right and then uh, you have a very cool command another cool command wc, um, WC. so we make it practice just to have a quick look at what, what, what the command says the man page number of lines words bytes blah 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 right. so in this cool command so wc file dot z mm, okay so that's what it is um we do with uh, use it with the minus w yeah so that we have a little more information and minus l so these are the options you have right okay so it's the same thing right um yeah so that, that's basically it. so yeah so you can practice these things or uh, anyway most of these things were there in the webinar right so uh, i started this particular part of the like so just to give you that intro the next one you will do some crazy interesting things right so look forward to it so i'm going to upload this first and come back to it right all right all right so we pause it now oh, no, we'll stop it now yep 32 seconds started to